Hello, this is Matthew. Uh, the game in the background is a Game of Thrones Genesis. I have brought Joe along to watch this and talk Hello with me. Hello there. Um, basically, this was a drunken purchase, uh, yeah, which I Joe was then part it. of. In fact, I believe he put it on the purchase screen for me. Uh, but you're the one who accepted the agreement and bought it, so uh, yeah, it I, wasn't me at all. Alcohol was flowing freely that night. Um, <laughs> We, right, so talk me through what's happening here. I'm not much of an RTS fan. Yeah, so. we wanted to show a spotlight features of what was happening or what you do, what you can do in the game. But right, the AI wasn't really cooperating with me to do that. So instead, I've just played a game, put yeah. it in the background, and I thought I'd talk about its features. So basically, as you can see at the moment, there in at the top of the screen, I've got an envoy moving away, and I've also got an envoy in that town. Your envoys, um, they go to towns on your behalf and they basically coerce right. the village, town, castle into joining your mine, forces into joining my alliance, yes, my faction which was it's, it's very handy to have them um, yes they they can more. also buy why, why is uh, it all grey maps? Because, oh, because that's because you don't own it if you okay. don't own it it's a bit like uh, it's a bit like fog of war okay. and also, I think it actually helps you see what you actually control half the time. All right. If I can see pretty clearly, I know it belongs to me. <laughs> um, as you can see just there, which was a few minutes, about a few seconds ago, I, cl I clicked on a spy and I sent it to a town owned by someone else. And that was to arrange a secret agreement. Now, these agreements, um, they mean that the town will, to the enemy, look place. like... It's theirs, but really, it's right. ours. We get half the income of what we should be getting, but the enemy gets no income anyway, so it kind of balances itself out there. Yeah. Um, so there's a peasant there. What's he up to? Yep, yeah, that's a peasant. I've, d I've decided I'm going I'm to get ready for war early here. Mm. For, to wage war, you need an army. Yeah. Not just mercenaries, which you need gold for, but an actual army. And for an army, you need food. So oh, course, you... Yes hire a peasant and you find a field you like that one next to the town in the center of the screen yeah um, and agreement. he will work the land and earn you food and once you have enough food you can buy units for an army okay so at the moment games pretty just started and uh, you've just got envoys going around you get a few secret agreements from your spies hmm. I think I have one or two secret agreements by this point I well, there's definitely quite a few at the end. Um, so, fans of this game are obviously going to be buying because it's based on a Game of Thrones. Yes. Yeah, so how I, how much like you know a Game of Thrones is it? Well, I have heard. I don't know it at all. I have heard stories that this was in the works from 2009. I I I, I don't know nothing oh, right. about this game, <laughs> but I know about as much as everyone because so it's that's a, like before it the TV. Out of nowhere, yeah. Um, All right. But to say it was solely based on the books would be a complete and utter lie. Because <laughs> I, the noble lady looks exactly like Sansa from the series. Mm. So I guess it's could be using thing. Um, quickly here. Well, what's this uh, mole doing here? This mole is the Lannisters. Yeah. Secret uh, unique unit. And basically he just takes the role of anyone yeah. else. In okay. the, like an envoy or a spy. Infiltrates. Yes, he becomes it. And okay. he will appear to be the enemy's man, but every alliance he'll make, because that was an envoy I took, will actually be fake. So. Alright, yeah. Um, who does have I got? Tyrell. So basically, everything the Tyrells now capture with that envoy, they'll think mm. they have, but in reality, it will just either be. Yes. Just stay the, the way it neutral or belong to it belongs to. We'll but as I say, and yeah, it's um the campaign does feature characters we and names you've known, thing. like uh Nymira, um who Aria uh names her wolf after is basically in the first part of the story. One more ally. Hear ye, um hear ye. An heir has been born. I, yes. There's not much thing because the great lords are called great lords and your heirs are called heirs. Away. Right, but um, so yeah, we see an air right here. What, what are you doing to him? Yeah, well, I was putting him in a town. It ultimately it doesn't bode well. I I do mess up, and I believe that one of my own assassins 
is my enemies and uh, it kind Ooh. of ends up with my heir getting a knife in the back which I was not <laughs> best pleased about but Aww. I recovered hey, so here I've got All some right. guardsmen the guardsmen I'm they listening. defend towns and if they defend a town they become invisible and they will immediately arrest spies anymore. and assassins if they try and enter the town or <laughs> they'll expel envoys because envoys can also take towns away from enemies by okay. converting them to your way of thinking um, so, so a guardsman can also defend an envoy hmm. or a great lord or an heir or, or just anyone really so if you had to kind of compare it to another RTS kind of type game, what, what, how, what would you compare it to? I, I honestly can't. This game is... Right. It's a very bitchy game. <laughs> Everything, I mean... You were saying this, yeah. Okay, see this bar at the top? That's yes. the peacetime bar. Okay. And I guess it, the red's bad. There's something. parts of this game that don't really make sense. Once that blue bar it's goes completely red, everyone declares war. Everyone and goes to war. And war is irreversible. Right, and so you're always at war. At the end, yeah. But for, as you'll see, hmm. war at your command. in this map will only last four minutes. Four minutes, okay. Four That's minutes. a very quick war. <laughs> yes, basically. I, have at your I, I win, I'm not going to lie. I'm not, not going to lie. Oh, of course. <laughs> of course. Why would you lose in a video like this? <laughs> No, I, I, I didn't. Ha I didn't come in here with the aim to win. I just had I the aim to play. Um, but yeah, I win. Good man. And I'm on about eighty prestige points. A future mm -hmm. ally. And you need a hundred to win. And more break. And I'm so when more breaks out, I more than prestige eighty prestige points. As you can see, I am already what earning two bits of prestige points. One we from the silver chalice, game. which is having the most allies, having the most towns. And that's at the top of the and screen, yeah. Yep, and yep. I also have the gold coins. I'm the analyst, so I'm always going to have the most money. Okay. I thought that'd be quite nice, so I I did we go for earning money. Um, but you can yeah. also see there's a knife that's for killing the most people, <laughs> and those other. Oh, so these are achievements at the top. Basically, and if you and if you're the one that has does that achievement at the moment, yeah, you get prestige points over time. As I'm saying here, look, that looks like Sansa from Game of Thrones. <laughs> the TV well, I can't comment because I've never seen Game of Thrones. I should, I'll force it upon you when next time I see you. No. And okay. those other three are sets, basically churches. And if you okay. control one of them, you get points. So as you can see, the Tyrells are kind of rocking that out a bit. But then again, I've just killed quite a lot of people. This is a The Great Lord is speaking. Yeah. He's offered me a pact. To be honest, I've not actually had any real sense of value from a pact at the moment. What, what do they do? Well, there's the mutual benefit pack that allows yeah. me to see. So say I became ooh, very unlikely allies with the Starks. Yeah. Um, I'd be able to see what the Starks can see. Okay. So if they had like an nice. envoy down all the way south with, mm. in the Martell's lands, like uh, those orange <laughs> towns on the map, then right I'd be able Boston, to see yeah. there. Yeah, because I can yeah. see what they can see. But, um, so there are some benefits, I guess. Yeah, but uh, not really, because once War Day gets declared, I, it's just one massive fest. I mean, that's what really lets it down. There's no alliance system, there's no real grandness to the war. I mean, the peacetime is perfect. I love it. It's so bitchy. It's just like <laughs> trying to get the most things. The you were AI, saying when you got it, yeah. Yeah, the AI doesn't quite use that here. Here's the part where I'm thinking, my assassin, come over here. Yeah. And then he, he's not budging, so I'm, I'm starting to think something's wrong. And I finally uh, realise, a bit too late. He's a spy. No, he's an assassin. A spy is something completely different. I've also lost one of my spies. He's in jail. And uh, I couldn't quite remember how to go bust free him, him. Because I believe the tutorial about spies and stuff was um, we have lost an kind of hazy to me. Because that was early in... Good morning, I was very tidy. <laughs> tidy? Very tired. <laughs> very tidy, yeah. Yeah, I'm a bit tired now. Um, now, I'm seeing on the right here, what is this green bar? There's a green shield or something on, on like a yes, chain. Yes, that's What's what that? I was trying to describe earlier. That's yeah. your prestige. That's how you tell who is winning. Okay. So, uh, hopefully so the guys with the green shields are winning at the moment. Yes. It's All not right. 
Yes. Yes, but I, I, I will eventually will win, as you can yes. see. I'll, I'll slowly get up there. Star Wars, I don't think, come anywhere close to winning this one. I believe Ooh. it's me, and then the nearest one's the Baratheons on 60. Okay. So, um... How close to war are we here? Oh, we see the red bar, green bar, blue yeah. bar, sorry. Uh, red, when it's completely red, that's red. wartime. Mm, yep. And do you remember I talked about secret alliances with the spy earlier? Desire. Yes, yeah. Any secret alliance you have be when you go into war okay. will vet become your town. Oh, and, see, it'll take, yeah. and it'll take prestige points away from the enemy. Ooh, However, there? oh, I arrested the, the assassin that killed my heir. Like, I was letting him get away. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, uh, so once you've gone into war, everything gets locked, basically. Oh, it's uh, not like every town, on, is it? Every town you own becomes yeah. your own, and that's it. They'll become loyal um, to you. Yeah. The only way to take them is by fighting. So, essentially, envoys become useless <laughs> once the, once war is declared.